Hello, this is Jolly Gaming Panda, and today we'll be covering a very dark um, situation in this game. So there is an abandoned mine shaft. One night it was totally dark. I could barely see what's in front of me. I had my torchlight lit and started to explore down here, getting the creeps as I came down, only to see a figure of someone ahead of me, and I turned tail. And now we are back during broad daylight to discover this is a very terrifying location, filled with a lot of execution stuff. So basically, this is a black market. This dude is messed up. They sell and purchase pals. And I guess any pals that apparently don't get purchased probably get executed after someone, which is just terrible. So this is a very, very, very scary location that we are stepping into. But in today's video, I'm gonna save a pal from the black market. So as you can see, passive skills is full again. It's not a very good, um, I don't know if you call that personality trait or skill. It's nothing, like, very good. There's some traits that are in yellow that has really good boost effects at the base. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to save a pal from meeting a horrible fate and get the heck out of there. That was scary. <laughs> So probably the most unsettling location in the entire game. I can't believe that was even put into the game. And now I'm wondering if this game's for teens or mature. Or like, that was scary. So I'm back at the base and the let, which is a pal we just rescued from that awful place, is helping out at the base camp of their free will, if you need to know. Some people get upset about pals working at bases saying, oh, they're being forced labor, but no, this pal they want to help out. And I love how I'm able to pet this one. So cute. So now that I saved this pal, they're gonna be able to live a much better life. Because to be at that place, they must have been having a really rough life, you know? So we saved this pal. We're gonna save one pal each step at a time. But to be honest, this might be the only one I save at that place. I don't even think I want to step foot in that place again. I felt really freaked out stepping foot in there. And, um, yeah. The Black Marketer, um... They were like level 40 or 50, I, I don't remember, but it was around there and my character is like only a level 20 or lower, so yeah. I don't want to go back there and it's almost unsettling. My base is so close to that place too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I started building this random castle and there is such a good view. I got a balcony made. I don't know if anyone's tried making a balcony yet, but I started doing it. It could only extend out so far, but I think it has a beautiful view of the base. So from up here, you can watch all your pals as they happily work and interact with each other and have a good old time. You could even see what's beyond your gate's fence. So if there's any pals that's lurking nearby, you want to try and catch, you could do that. So yeah, we just saved a pal. I probably won't ever go back to that place again because it's the most scary location in a game I've played this year. Like, that was so messed up and scary. That's even in this game. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to save a pal, so I did. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. I'll be making more Pal World videos, so stay tuned.